What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, but we're gonna be reviewing some Milwaukee stuff, mainly the chainsaw in today's video, so let's get to it. So there's a pretty great saw for just some simple cuts here and there. And I think we're gonna take it out later and go down through the woods with the ATV and see where we can get through needing to use a chainsaw. Right now we're gonna go cut down a tree and see how this does on that. So the great thing with these electric saws is you just hit a button and go. Pretty much the only thing unit you're going to be messing with is the bar oil and the battery, tightening up the chain, sharpening that and stuff, but it's always nice to be more simplified. You don't have to yank them and get them going. Just hit a button and go. So here on the saw, We've got the chain brake, and that is basically your kill switch stop switch. So, chain brakes on, so that doesn't allow it to go. And then you also have this safety switch here. You have to have that pressed to go. So I'm going to pull the battery out here. Underneath here, we have the wrench for adjusting the saw. Pretty much the same as any other steel saw that you have or Husqvarna. You've got your two nuts here. You've got your chain adjustment right here. So yeah, basically the same as your gas saw. Clutch, tightening, two nuts, chain guards and all that stuff. Keep your grooves on your bar clean for the chain to run in. We use a lot of different Milwaukee tools and it comes down to the battery really and the amperage runtime. We've got 1.5 batteries, 4.0 batteries, Pretty much switched to all using 5.0 batteries in all of our tools. Charge time depends on the charger itself. You have the regular chargers here, and we also have the rapid chargers. These are gonna run you a quick charge in about 30 minutes or so. So on this chainsaw, I was using the 6.0 battery, and with this saw, you probably don't wanna use anything less than a 6.0 battery. That's what I was using in the video. It'll last you a long time. Um, the saw does come with the 12 volt battery. You can cut down a tree, you can limit up and everything, but where this saw really does great, I think, is just limbing up trees. If you use your gas chainsaw, cut the trees down, you can limit up real quick with a Milwaukee chainsaw. But where I think this would be good is for a trail saw on your ATV, just strap it on your ATV or UTV, just throw in an extra battery and hit the trails. So that's about it for this video. We'll take this out and see where we can get through with the ATV later. Be sure to like and subscribe down below. I have the links for all the batteries, the chainsaw down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.